guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Arielle Chardé. If you're new here, make sure that you like and subscribe. So guys, let's get into it. If you know, you know, Lori Harvey is like my favorite person. Like I love her. I just think she's so cute, so well put together. I love her fashion. I love her fearlessness and I love her new body. So the generous queen decided to share her workout and fitness routine on TikTok and y'all, I just had to try it. I did literally everything that Lori did. I ate at a calorie deficit, I ate low carb, I went to Pilates and I also did cardio. So join me in my journey to see if I could totally duplicate what Lori did to get that amazing body. Let's get started. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go on tdeecalculator.net. You're going to put in your age, your goal weight, your height, and your activity level. This is going to tell you your macros. So basically the calories and carbs and fat that you should maintain as well as your daily caloric intake to maintain the weight you would like to be in. So for my goal weight, which is 170 pounds, um, it showed me the calories that I need to eat. It also told me this ideal weight, which is some bull crap, because girl, I cannot be 135. I am a stick at 180, so I could only imagine 135. I'm pretty tall, so that's kind of weird. So just ignore that, guys, and also ignore your BMI, because, I mean, you know, women like us, we have curves, and I feel like you shouldn't go off of this BMI calculator. It's a little bit toxic to me, so I don't even listen to it. So anyway, um, these are my daily macros. So 175 grams of protein, 91 grams of fat, 204 grams of carb. And that is for maintaining my weight. Then it also told me what a low carb option would be as well as what I should eat to stay moderate carb. So following this, um, I'm, since I'm trying to cut, you just wanna click on cutting and it'll tell you what your macros should be. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I don't necessarily follow macros. That's like super duper intense for me. That's like super duper tracking that I don't have time for, but I'm just showing you guys how you can find your macros for higher carbs if you wanna gain weight, lower carbs if you wanna lose weight, or moderate carbs so you can maintain your weight. So anyway guys, um, this is where you can play around with it. So now I changed it to sedentary so I can see what type of calories I should be eating if I'm not moving at all or not working out at all. So it's telling me that I can eat 1803 a day. And again, it's giving me my macros for maintenance, cutting and bulking. Um, in this instance, I would, of course, be trying to cut. So um, you want to stay on moderate if you're trying to maintain your weight, lower carb if you want to cut, and you go to higher carb if you're trying to gain. So that's how to figure out your macros. Just make sure you put your activity level in because really that's the most important part. Um, so yeah, you can go back to the homepage. You can play around with that. You can put in, you know, what your different um, activity levels is and it'll tell you your macros and your calories. So now um, I changed it once more and it's telling me again my macros. So it's really that easy, guys. This is where you want to go and figure out how many calories you should be eating a day. So this is my number that I'm gonna go with, 1,566. I'm gonna try to stay in that deficit because girl, I need to lose this weight, okay? Okay guys, so as you can see, my refrigerator is pretty empty. It's pretty empty in here. I just need to go to the grocery store and get some items. Um. Over here, I just have um, some salmon, some shrimp, some hamburgers that I never ate back there. And I have a bunch of veggies, so I'm good on veggies. I'm actually not gonna eat that corn, but um, I have my veggies and I'm just gonna go get meats and some more things that I need, but let's get started. <laughs> Chubby drive, look alive, look alive Niggas came up on this side, now they on the other side Oh well, fuck them dawg, we gon' see how hard they ride I get racks to go outside, and I spit it with the guys We up on the other side Hey guys, so I got so much things, oh my goodness So I got chicken breast, 
chicken wings, salmon, ground chicken, shrimp, boneless, skinless chicken thigh meat. Got a cilantro dressing, chicken broth, more extra virgin olive oil because I was running out. Some sparkling waters in pineapple and raspberry lime. Some jacama wraps, which I'm super excited to try because now I can eat tacos since they are carbless. Um, some guacamole, minced garlic, some more uh, ground pepper, peri-peri sauce to make peri-peri chicken, avocado oil spray, got some onions. I don't know if I mentioned the smoked salmon, but I got that too. Tomatoes, asparagus. Um, this is vanilla and sweetened almond milk. I got some chopped kale, arugula, zucchini squash, avocado, some folios to make different things. These are made all out of cheese. Super awesome. I got some parsley, broccolini, some lemon, some string cheese, some harissa because I love the harissa hot chicken at Cava, so I'm going to make my own. Um, I also got some feta, some hot pico de gallo, some shredded parmesan, romano, asiago cheese, and yeah, that's it. So... This is what I'm gonna be eating for weight loss and I'm super excited to have all these yummy, healthy, fresh meals. Good morning, everyone. So this is going to be my first eating slash drinking of the day. I am going to make a keto matcha latte. So I really like this powder. I got it from Marshall's. This is a keto matcha latte with MCT oil powder. And I like it because it literally just has organic MCT oil powder, organic coconut milk powder, and organic Japanese matcha tea. And literally, if you count the net carbs, there's four grams of carb per tablespoon and two grams of fiber. So that means it's two net carbs for the whole tablespoon and I only use one tablespoon. So I'm excited to have this drink. If you know, you know I'm a matcha girl. So I will be using the almond non-dairy vanilla and sweetened milk by Trader Joe's. I'm also going to use two stevia in the raw, as well as the Tarani sugar-free vanilla bean syrup. I'm just going to use about a tablespoon of that. All right, let's get started. Industry is cut, but I'm not the same, man. And I can let you check the tag. Now I'm rocking name brand. I'm only chasing at the bags. Now I got a game plan. And I'm out here with the group. 703 I fives. Look alive, look alive. Niggas came up on this side. Now they on the other side. Hey guys, so for lunch, I'm going to do a kale salad. If you know, you know, I literally eat this maybe three times a week. Even when I'm doing bad, this is my absolute favorite, favorite salad. And I'm going to show you how to make it. So I'm just using chopped kale, some concentrated lemon juice, grinded pepper, Himalayan pink salt, tomatoes, a red onion, some shaved Parmesan, Romano, and Asiago cheese, minced garlic, extra virgin olive oil, balsamic vinegar, and that's just the container of grape tomatoes I use. These are the ones that were already washed. So let's get started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes we laugh, sometimes we cry, but I guess you know now. Yeah. Baby, yeah. I took a half and she took the whole thing. Slow down. Yeah. Baby, yeah. we took a trip, now we on your block, and it's like a ghost town. Yeah. Okay, guys, so my beautiful kale salad is done, and I literally wish that you guys can smell it through the screen because the smells coming through this is phenomenal. So seasoned, lots of flavor, and you just have to let it sit about 30 minutes at the minimum to soak in the oil so the kale can get soft. Hey guys, so I'm on the way to Pilates and I'm super excited because I haven't been to salad core in a minute and salad core is my favorite. I always burn about 800 calories when I go and I know that Lori's super into Pilates, so I just wanted to go ahead and include solid core in my video. So you guys can just kind of get a look. Um, it's a little bit intense, so I'm not gonna be able to film that much while I'm in there, but I'll definitely get some scenes of the studio for you. And the good thing about solid core is they have them everywhere, like all over the nation. So 
you can definitely go to a class in your area and look up where some are but i'm so excited because y'all i love pilates and people think pilates is just stretching no ma'am solid core is a high intensity high intensity let me stress that again <laughs> pilates workout and you're literally doing strength training as well as cardio and it burns and literally the next day you feel it so listen honey listen linda be prepared if you try solid core but it's so intense and it's such a good calorie burner so i'm excited to go i'm picking it through i just ain't fell in love because i'm way too awake and she tried fucking a rapper to break on my heart but my heart doesn't break as soon as i lick with these niggas they feel as a written all over their face baby i am done for like done for pilates kicked my ass look at my face it's so flushed. I can't. But it was awesome. I'm so sore. So I'm gonna go to Sweat House now and go to the sauna. See y'all in a minute. Okay guys, so now that I'm home, I'm just gonna have some of this gorgeous salad. And I'm going to pair it with the oak smoked salmon pieces from Trader Joe's. And I'm also gonna have some sparkling cranberry and clementine water from Trader Joe's. And this is going to be my first meal of the day. It's five o'clock, but this is actually gonna be like a pre-meal because I'm gonna make dinner at six because I don't wanna eat later than seven. So this is my first meal of the day just because I fasted this long. Um, I think going forward, I'm gonna eat at one and five. And that's gonna be my eating window for fasting. But just for today, since I fasted all day, I'm gonna just eat this really quickly and then make dinner in about an hour. So here's my first meal of the day. I have some smoked salmon and my kale salad and the clementine cranberry sparkling water from Trader Joe's. I'm set to go to Solid Core tomorrow. I'm gonna go, um, I think it's full body. I forgot the two muscle groups, but it's full body. So I'm gonna do that tomorrow. Today, I'm going to go to the gym and do cardio. Lori has a sprint interval. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I can't do that sprint interval. I can't do that sprint interval. I cannot do that sprint interval. Okay guys, actually I can maybe do it, but I'm gonna have to work up to it because like I get it, like going, like doing the um, high intensity training and doing like two, uh, speed two, then speed three, then speed four. Lori goes up to 10. <laughs> And I don't know about y'all, but I'm not and cannot at this physical moment go up to 10. So I am going to do the interval, but I think I'm going to do it like one to maybe three at the most speed. And I'm going to keep it on a 15 incline. But it kind of sucks. I really don't want to go to the gym. I kind of just want to go to Pilates and I tried to go today and it was full. But I'm going to go and I'm probably going to do um, Capri Curves. I'm gonna do her Monday workout, even though it's Tuesday, cause I like it cause it's a leg day. So I'll do that and then 30 minutes of cardio on the treadmill, 15 incline, going one to three speed. And yeah, this is gonna be my workout today. See y'all soon. So I'm leaving the gym. I just did cardio. Um, I did a little leg, like a mini leg day, but I did mostly cardio. I did the sprints. I did the elliptical as well as the treadmill. So Lori girl, I hope you proud, but I did it. So see y'all soon. Lori A. Harvey, Miss Thing. If you ever watch this video, if it ever comes across your YouTube when you're scrolling, sis, how do you go to Pilates every day? Cause listen, my inner thighs hurt, like my outer thighs hurt, my back hurts, my chest hurts, everything hurts this. So I just need to know how do you do this every day? That's number one. And I mean, clearly you're snatched for a reason, but sis, like I'm not gonna lie y'all, if I didn't work full time, I would be Pilates in the morning, Pilates in the afternoon, like I would do it. And I can kind of sit through the pain. But knowing that I have to work and do Pilates 
And the Pilates I do at Solid Core is intense, y'all. It's not just regular, oh, we're gonna stretch, we're gonna do the 100, we're gonna do our leg lifts, no. It's Solid Core, so it's strength training and Pilates, and it's so intense. And guys, like, I see why Lori is snatched, because baby, like, your girl is tired, I'm tired. I am exhausted and I'm tired. And it's definitely giving, guys, because I've lost two pounds since yesterday, which is so cool. But Lori Harvey, what's tea, baby? Because, girl, this is hard. Uh, this is hard. This is hard. Where these niggas be at when they say they're going out this and all that? Okay, so here's another good calorie deficit breakfast that's full of protein. You can either eat it in the morning or if you are doing intermittent fasting, maybe after a workout, if you need some energy, it's super filling, full of protein, and it's still low calorie. So what I like to use is the Trader Joe's Organic Creamy Cashew Yogurt. I get the plain and sweet in one. And for the toppings, I like to do um, the organic berry blend. I do some pomegranate seeds, organic coconut, the keto friendly um, granola. The only reason why I really like this one is only two net carbs. It's one gram of sugar and it's grain free because I'm trying to like kind of not completely like eliminate carbs, but at least like slow down on them. Um, so I like this one because it's grain free and it's pretty low cal. So one fourth a cup is 150 calories and I'm not even going to use that much. So. I appreciate that. Um, I'm using chia seeds and I'm gonna top it off with some honey. So let's make it. Okay, so we have our beautiful parfait. It's feeling nutritious. Low cal is about 325 calories for the whole thing. Lots of protein, good carbs to keep us full and to keep us strong for strength training. And this is my breakfast for the day. Guys, I'm gonna do this workout. It's called Squirt and Sweat. And I'm just like, let's squirt, girl. Like, I love a fun workout that you can like dance to. So I'm excited for it. So let's see what they're talking about. I'm picking it through. I just say fell in love because I'm way too awake. And she tried fucking a rapper to break on my heart, but my heart doesn't break. As soon as I lick with these niggas, they feel as a written all over their face. I spent 30,000 on somebody's grapes. Eating this so many pull ups on niggas, no wonder we getting in shape. Too busy mapping my words up with actors to have a go front of your face. What? What? Go to the drink. What else are they gonna play? Side and niggas won't take. Hey, I'm having my way. Said I ain't having this way. Hey, I ain't having this way. And like the girl, you go out and take. Hey guys, so I just finished twerking sweat. Oh my god, like literally burnt almost 600 calories. It was so insane. And <laughs> I wanted to go to Pilates, but it's full. So I'm going to Pilates in the morning. I'm gonna make it do what it do, baby boo. Mm. I'll see y'all in a minute. Uh, another important thing I learned was just making little subtle changes. As you can see, your girl loves olive oil, okay? I buy the most expensive, like nicest, pure, premium extra virgin olive oil, and I love it. I love cooking with it, I love making my salads with it, whatever. But I realized when I looked at the label, guys, this is one tablespoon. This is how big a tablespoon is. So although there's no carbs in this, which was working for me when I was doing keto, I was like, oh, well, I can always use the olive oil because there's no carbs, like it's fine, it's high fat. Guys, it's 130 calories for one tablespoon of olive oil. Like, do you know how many filling things you can eat for 130 calories and you're eating one little tablespoon of olive oil and it's adding that many calories to your daily intake? So when I realized that, I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to cut back. So I started using the spray oil and this is avocado oil spray. And as you can see, there are no calories, no carbs. So it's good, you can use as much as you want. 
and it's not going to like run you crazy with your calories so i need that especially like being in a calorie deficit so i'm super grateful for that guys another hack that i've really been into lately is diet drinks so i've always really loved sparkling water because it had like that essence of quote unquote soda and these ones are perfect because they have the actual like essence of the flavor but you aren't getting the calories or carbohydrates or anything like that so what i like to do is just squeeze one of these flavor enhancers in the drink and as you can see hopefully you can see they don't have any calories or carbs in them. So I just squeeze a little bit and it's like having a soda. And I also like the Arizona Diet Green Tea. This one has no calories and there's one carb a serving. So that's also pretty good. And I either drink it plain or I just put one of the flavor enhancers in it as well. So that's another little diet hack you can do as far as drinks, especially if you have like a sweet craving or always want sodas okay, or juice. I know it's late, but I just got done cooking. So I made a salad. I made cauliflower rice. I made um, harissa hot honey chicken and salmon. So that's my meal prep for the week. And this week I'm doing breakfast and lunch. So no dinner, just breakfast and lunch. And then after lunch, that's when my eating window is over. What else are they gonna play? So I just left Pilates. I just washed my face because I was literally like a dripping dog. It was bad. So I just washed my face and now I am headed home. I actually, no, I'm gonna go to the store to have to get some more alkaline water. Um, but after that, I am headed home. I made it all three days of my Lori Harvey workout and diet plan. And I'm so excited. I'm gonna weigh in in the morning and see how much I lost. But I know I lost weight. I can literally like see it in my clothes and my face. I can see the inches off of me. So that's exciting in itself. Um, but you guys, this has been this has been a journey. Just like being more disciplined and um, just trying to figure myself out. That's really what I've been doing these past three days. And it has literally just been such a fulfilling journey for me. So I'm super excited. I'm excited for everything that's to come. I'm excited to continue my fitness journey. And yeah, th these three days literally jump started something in me. So I'm excited. I've even noticed like with my eating portions, like for example, like, you know, like the Talenti Gelatos, I would get the Sorbet one and eat that whole container. Well, when I was reading the label today, I saw that that container has three servings. I was eating three servings for one person and wondering why I was gaining so much weight. So now I'm very cognizant of my portions, how much I'm eating. Um, I'm making sure to stay in my calorie deficit. I'm doing everything that I'm supposed to do. So that's making me super happy right now. So yeah, I did it guys. I'm at the end of day three. This has been a journey. I'm so excited and I'm gonna keep going. Y'all, so now that the three days are over and I lost my seven pounds, am I gonna stick to this diet? Well, I honestly feel like it's something I can do. Like, I feel like I can eat within the 15, 66, like eat that many calories in a day and stay satisfied. I feel like I can do that. It was one point in my weight loss journey where I was eating one time a day and it sucked. Like, yeah, I lost weight super quick, but it sucked. So being able to eat actual breakfast, lunch, and dinner, or even still eating in my um, my fasting window, as long as I eat the 1500 calories, I appreciate that. Cause girl, I like to eat. Like imagine not being able to eat, I like to eat. So I think I'm gonna maintain that for sure. Definitely sticking with the calorie deficit. Um, low carb, I've always liked low carb. I always lose weight very, very quickly on low carb, but I do like rice. I like rice, guys. So. Um, just even having like three fourths a cup of rice like one time a day. I think that I'm gonna incorporate that as opposed to just going cold turkey low carb because I do wanna be able to enjoy rice. Now gluten, I'm not really pressed about like bread and pasta. I don't have to have that, but I do have to have my rice. So I'm gonna at least maintain eating my rice and just keeping it low cal and healthy, you know? Um, What else? The working out, 
I feel like working out is my life now. Like ever since I started this journey, I've been working out every single day, be it Pilates or going to the gym or a workout class at like one of the gyms. So I feel like I can continue to do that and get good results. So I think I'm gonna continue to do that. But my main thing was like, I was a person who would order Postmates every single day for lunch and I work from home. So I'm just sitting here eating like these 3000 calorie meals in one setting three times a day. Like that's no wonder I gained so much weight so quick, right? So now, since I've done this challenge, like, or since I challenged myself, I should say, in eating the way that Lori eats and working out the way that she works out, I feel healthier, I feel stronger, I see the inches coming off, I see my body getting stronger, I see my waist getting smaller, my ass getting fatter, period. So I have to maintain that, guys. So um, this doing this was a total pro for me. I didn't really have any cons. I learned how to eat. I learned how to not binge, which I always struggled with. I learned how to eat smaller portions and to work out. And now I feel weird if I don't work out. Like, baby, if this Apple Watch isn't, if I'm not closing these rings, it's a problem. So, <laughs> so yeah, I, I just think that doing this was a total benefit. I feel so good. I feel so healthy. And I'm motivated to keep going and to make my fitness and weight loss goals. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Thank you for being a part of the Batty Gang. Thank you for even watching and taking this time out of your day to enjoy my little workout vlog. Lori, I hope you see this. And if you do, girl, I love you so much. But <laughs> just make sure that you like and subscribe. And I have way more videos coming, guys. I know I haven't posted in a minute, but I'm back on my schedule. So let's get it. I'll see y'all in the next video. And I love y'all so much. Bye.